Hello everyone, good to see you guys again. Uh, so this is the final episode of the home front round we did. Uh, Oswald is pushing north, he's playing Columbia uh, with a few railroad guns. It's an interesting play. Uh, he does have an 18 stack here. Maybe he's waiting to promote them, they only level 1. We do have Cuba landed there which we'll have to fight soon. Just a bunch of spy actions. Yep, and here's Cuba. He does have quite a force here. So we will need to deal with this before we deal with Oswald. Or our or Wrecked Angel, our ally to the west, he will uh, hold him at bay for now. But Cuba is entrenched here a bit. Uh, <laughs> you can see Half Dead is... Uh, <laughs> He's not really happy with the A Force I got. <laughs> but uh, yeah, with these cruisers parked here, it has made it a little difficult to uh, get them out. So we will need to rush him out of these provinces, I think. The longer we're fighting him under these uh, cruisers, the worse it is for us. So we will push south in. We are getting some of his transports to separated, but Oswald has arrived. And Central America's assisting him. The railroad guns, like, it, it can be good, but you need to keep your distance. And it's so slow now, um, since they got nerfed. But if you do keep your distance, you can do some damage. Uh, but it's down to activity adders. The more active you are, the more better they'll be. Uh, so we have engaged the stack. And it is quite a chunky stack. We are going to kill his reinforcements now, which are landing. And his cruiser is bombarding us as we're trying to uh, sweep up these provinces. So, we are losing units. This is a, a pretty intense fight. A lot of level 2 infantry. It's a shame he didn't... Uh, well, <laughs> well, it's good for us. But if he uh, stayed in the city, that would have been even more harder. As he would have had the uh, infantry bonus there. And we've only got a lot of mechanized, so we do weaker in cities. So we're quite lucky we caught him on the uh, planes here. Right, so... Almost catching this uh, Colombian stack. I like It is inevitable we will catch this just because of the speed of the railroad guns. So I don't know if Colombia will ditch them to escape. We'll uh, find out. No, uh, <laughs> so we did miss it, as it did happen late. Uh, but Columbia stack did die uh, to mainly Kansas. I didn't, assault, I didn't help too much. But I will catch this uh, Central American stack, which is quite huge. But I am trying to cut him off here with this motorized regiment. Or maybe this regiment will take a, uh, a shot from him. But if we do catch it, we'll slow him down in the province. We don't want to chase him too far south, especially with West Mexico at war of us here. Still uh, reinforcing my Air Force. There we go. Alright, we did catch it. Uh, I'm taking a beat in here. Oh, 12 artillery, 7 AA, so. Central American Army is really good. I, I can't remember the name of the player who's playing this one. But, uh, it's a pretty good stacks. 15 level 3 infantry, though. Pfft. Yeah, we snowballed a bit too hard in uh, Eastern USA. <laughs> I think at this point, unless the entire map teams up on us, uh, I think our victory at this point is inevitable. I don't see... They do have some more units all down here. The question is just how much damage they'll do to us before they go down. Especially because we have such a large air force. Yeah, it's got to keep shooting into the uh, tank stacks. I, I really don't build much uh, medium armor myself. I usually do get a lot of uh, artillery to make up for it because the artillery will do a good damage to uh, 
the tanks. You don't really need it as long as you can pin them down for the artillery to do the work. Uh, you can see your Kansas is uh, spreading all over, taking the front line. He's really done a, 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 <laughs> a lot of the bulk of the heaviest fighting. Central, uh, yeah, West Mexico, yeah, he's his ally. I, I don't know what's going on in California, though. They're still fighting among themselves. Uh, we'll just clean up uh, Ontario now. Because we are getting close to winning. We're just uh, waiting for FIBO to join our coalition. And uh, Dakota. Dakota was a bit of a 4D chess going on with him. <laughs> But he did eventually uh, pull out the win. Here we go. Pacific Pack came second. Uh, Shio and Saif. Rogue in Saskatchewan. It's Oswald, 113 about. Winners only? Oh no. <laughs> cat the cat. Yeah, so pretty good. Nice. Well, GG, guys. Um, definitely a good round. This was for the anniversary of ICS. Uh, sorry this episode isn't longer. There just wasn't too much going on apart from those quick, intense fights. And it was over. It's a lot of rocket artillery. This really shows... Because uh, we had a player switch. Uh, God of the Game was playing as California at first. Uh, but he did break some rules, so he got kicked. But you can see the results of all the artillery uh, made up just rocket artillery. I don't know, my mechanizer is starting to come into play now. Yeah. But no, yeah, good game, guys. This was uh, definitely a fun round. But the northwest area of the map really didn't move much. <laughs> Who's this? Oh, he uh, Mega Man uh, set up shop in, <laughs> in Hawaii. <laughs> East Mexico became Hawaii. Alright, nice. Oh, that's a pretty good stack. So, yeah. Looks like Oswald and Cuba were getting ready to defend, but yeah. Alright. Good game, guys. Uh, we will be recording the next Clash of Nations map, which is a random map with the new War Bonds system in place. And we'll see how that goes. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.